our biggest advantage is we do offer a very caring, soft touch environment. And um, we, we know all of the kids, we know their needs, and they know that we are very, very reachable. Almost every student and every parent has my cell number and they use it liberally, which I encourage because I want people to know that we are accessible. I am accessible for families who have particular needs and that's, I think I do, I think I do a pretty good job at that. And the school as a whole does an excellent job at that. The school has received a significant bequest from a, a gentleman who graduated here in 1940 and it just couldn't come at a better time because this is going to position us really beautifully to do different and unusual and really relevant types of programming like this. I thought it would be a really cool thing if the kids learned about the ancestral lands that they're standing on here today. You can only talk so long before they start to glaze over and when they get to actually get to go and make a necklace or they get to make their own beadwork patterns and when they get to learn really about the deep history of this place. It's pretty, it is pretty fantastic. Kids are natural lawyers. And so when I teach about treaty history and federal Indian policy, I think one of the cool things that happens is they, they really start thinking like ethicists rather than lawyers. Mm -hmm. And so we talk a lot about, you know, what's the right thing versus what's the legal thing? Because those two, those two things are not always synonymous. So um, that is really a lot of fun for me. I think that uh, our elder generation really takes seriously that call to bring people into the fold of our part of the story. You know, people always know that it's the victors who get to write the history, it's the people who are on top who initiate the treaty making. You know, we all know that narrative, but um, and there's not a lot we can do to make a, like a really big shift in that history, but we can do little pieces of it in order to bring everybody into this process we call learning. This really is a community school in the sincerest form of the word because everybody knows everybody and um, we all know the kids and all of these you know, statistics and studies show that every student needs to have a, an adult who takes a keen interest in them every single day of their school. Reach out to them, hey, how's your day going? Did you figure this thing out? And so m much more to a, to a far greater degree than other school districts were able to do that because we're so small.